Well, there is Buffy waiting for his food. Always waiting to be fed. How are you, mister? Hungry as always, huh? And there's Mr. Angel. Hey, how are you today? Are you good? Oh, let's see what it's lo like outside this morning. Ooh, it's kind of cool out here. And there's the chair I'm working on. Ooh. And look at this. That's disgusting. Cat vomit. I'm not cleaning that up. Oh, Buffy, that must be your cat vomit, huh? Man, and look at this mess. My son and his friend were cooking last night. And of course, look at the grease all over the stove. Isn't that awesome? And then they got into the fudge that I made yesterday. You saw on my vlog. And look at it. They dug into it and ate. That's, that was two and a half pounds of fudge almost gone. They were busy kids. Good morning, everybody. I'm headed off to Walmart. Yes, again. But this time it's specifically to go look for ammo. Uh, uh, the uh, Walmart website showed that the uh, 22 Thunderbolts, the 50 round boxes are coming into uh, Walmart and, and actually in most of the Walmarts in my area. So I am going to uh, hit four stores and try to pick up 600 rounds. Well, I went to my local Walmart and they didn't get the Thunderbolts in. Well, this is uh, becoming a real pain in the ass. This is uh, the second Walmart and no 22 Thunderbolt. Let's head off to the third store. Well, this Walmart did not have the Remington Thunderbolts in stock either, but I got something else that I would rather have anyway. And that is, as soon as I make this turn, I'll show you. That is the CCI. 100 round boxes of the standard velocity so I'd rather have those wouldn't you well I was successful in the last Walmart but it wasn't uh, getting 22 LR uh, for some reason like I said uh, the Walmart website is screwed up uh, but I did pick up something that I've never been able to pick up before and this was the Tula Brass Max 115 grain full metal jack it's uh, in the uh, 100 round little jars I've seen tons of people get these, but I've never seen them in my area before, so I'm uh, very glad to get those. Buffy, look what I got for you. Looky, I got you a big bed. I had to buy you a dog bed because you're too big for a cat bed. All right, Buffy, you want to try out your new Betty? Looky, no, no, don't run. Come here. Looky, Buffy, come check out your new bed. Yeah. Come check it out. Come check it out. Come on. Check out your new bed. Oh, come here. Look. Come here. Check out your new beddy. Oh, boy. No. Yeah, smell it. You'll get used to it. Okay, maybe I could bribe you to get in the bed with the, your new treats. Come on. Here. Come on. Oh, there you go. Try it out. Get him. Look at it, you're not going to even get in there. You're going to reach over and get it. You Look at your paw at him. What a strange cat. Oh man, look at my new shirt. Oh, my new shirt. My new shirt is not gay. My new shirt is awesome. It is awesome. It is not gay. Hey guys, I just want to apologize. Uh, I know I said uh, yesterday uh, that I was going to uh, today go in and do some metal detecting and I still want to do that uh, but uh, let me show you something real quick I have uh, what bad veins in my legs I've had them since I was in my 20s and I've got to wear these support stockings and they're my leg uh, especially this one is really swollen as you can see and then of course that's not a good thing to have so I got to try to keep them up and stay off my feet as, as much as I can. And what really aggravated it was when I went to that uh, 
car race and car show uh, the other week and uh, you know I was on my feet for over seven hours so um, I will get to it as soon as I can but I do apologize for that. Hey guys I'm just uh, sitting down here watching uh, the big game between Florida State and Notre Dame. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, who you guys are uh, rooting for but since I live in Florida and lived in Florida for quite a long time I'm definitely going for the uh, Florida State. So the football game is at halftime, so I would like to show you guys some of the uh, other things that I found metal detecting. Uh, I showed uh, the other day uh, a, a lot of the coins that I found. Uh, I'll start with uh, these older type uh, children's toys. This actually is an Indian. He's missing his leg and he's missing his foot there. And as you can see, uh, part of the bow is missing, but it still has a little bit of color, a little bit of orange and, and yellow on it. Uh, and all three of these uh, toys were found uh, right near each other. Uh, this is uh, actually um, like a like a little tank. And then here's another type tank too as well. And it's still got some color on it. Uh, and these are very heavy, almost like a, a feeling of, of lead. Uh, and then uh, these items here are... Um, you know different things of course we know that that's a key there an, an old style key let me open this up here that's definitely an old key and this and it has a little piece that swings i think this is some type of a door knocker or maybe a, a, a drawer pull or something like that and all three of these pieces were found real close together too and this one you see is kind of uh, falling apart a little bit and this is a real thin metal and there's a, you can see a hole on the side and then something, it might have been something like a, like a um, light switch cover, something like that. And then one of the uh, best finds that I ever found, I haven't found any, any gold yet, which I hope to. This actually is an earring. And the nice thing about this earring is this is uh, silver. This is a uh, 0.925 uh, silver uh, with an uh, amethyst stone in the middle. And as you can see, it's a, cl it's a clasp earring. And all of these items were found uh, where most of those other coins were in about a couple of acre section of, of uh, now empty lots where houses used to be at, at one time. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Uh, and uh, I hope to find some more of these uh, soon once I can get out there and do some more metal detecting. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I don't know about you guys, but that's one of the best games I've seen in a long time. Congratulations to Notre Dame. They almost pulled it out. But congratulations to Florida State. Great game, great game. And on that note, guys, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna head off to bed. Thank you very much for watching the videos. Thank you for very much for your support. Hope your teams won today. And as uh, always, we will see you in tomorrow's vlog.